Well, that went very smooth, smoothly. I'm just revisiting a... Well, actually, I used to um, paint a lot of emus. And um, I haven't painted an emu for a while, so I'm going to paint one. I'm going to paint it just in a way I'm familiar with, but also... In a new way too, I'm going to use um, one of these Posca pens to start with, which I've never, I never used to use these Posca pens. Now I've got, I've got some in, I've got some in this, um, here we are, in this old pencil case, and I can. This one's got plastic on it. It's really hard to get the plastic off. I don't know why they make it so. I suppose it make you know, you know it's new then and people don't use it in the shops. But I've got a white one and I've got a cream one. White and cream. White and cream. And um, I, I might use a cream one. And I did, um, I just got to did trace an outline on this. Uh, now I never ever used to do this kind of thing when I, when I used to paint with lines. I kind of kind of like these drawing with these pens. They're interesting. They kind of do some interesting things. So I'm just kind of. Doing. I wonder if I should change down a colour for the shadow parts or not worry. No, I'm just. Amy's are really weird when they look straight at you. You know, on the side view they've got quite a long beak, but when things with long beaks look at you straight at you like this, you get this foreshortening. So. So you don't see the length of the beak and it creates an illusion, but it really, when, when they're straight ahead like that, like it looks like they're looking at you, but really birds, I suppose if they've got forward facing eyes, it's a bird of prey. Now I don't know, what do emus eat? Now that's something I'm not particularly sure of, what they eat should look that up but they're kind of they're tough birds they're like they really like dinosaurs I reckon they're like dinosaurs anyway I've got some leftover paint from a painting I just finished so I got a messy cut so I'm going to use a bit of that up well I can I had some money in there didn't I oh yeah it's a little bit left a little bit more out Am I organised? Not really. But sometimes, you know, you don't want to be too organised. Because, um, you know, I think the most important part of this painting is actually the eyes. Because these emus have really weird really intense big orangey brown eyes you know they are so so intense their eyes and um so that will be definitely the focus of the painting so I'll start with them and finish with them you know as you do um, I'll just chuck them in I'll put the pupils in too because that's going to just drive me crazy if I don't put them in. 
What? But ah, oh, I gotta. So what I what's a brush do I want? Is the question. Brushes. Oh, I can never have enough brushes. So I use a small one. I've got some black on here. I've got some green black, and I've got some midnight blue. And this is just a little painting on a little canvas. And um, let's just put these pupils in. Might as well put them in. And cause some a little bit of tension there. Start with the eyes. And with this side's in it, this side's in a light a bit more, so I'll just line on that a bit there. Okay. So for the minute we just let that dry. And where to next is the question so i um yeah i think I, I reckon i have painted probably 15 emus in my life 15 emu paintings most of them heads most of them looking straight ahead some looking to the side um what else um Oh no, I'm thinking I need, what do I need? I need a beak colour. I'll have to mix one up. I should, should use this colour here to mix on. Um, so that's a warmish coloured beak. I have an image uh, up here. I oh, can't see that actually. Uh, I'll just leave it there. I'll put some, put some beak colour in. This is just a fun kind of thing to do and make products at the same time, you know, things to sort of sell in the, which is kind of what you do when you, it's one of the things you do. I would just chuck some paint on really. I need some. Yes, hello birds. Birds have been really noisy. Oh, that's a bit close to the background colour, that one. That makes a bit of brown with that blue then. Yeah, we'll get that a bit darker like that. Okay. Here, we'll just put some of that on. Looking at where the tones go. Doesn't necessarily have to be true colours. I need some white. And I mean I've kind of really done some crap. I'm going to just go for it with the colours. So, and when I mean go for it with the colours, I mean just going a bit crazy with the colours. This colour that I love called um, Brilliant Magenta. So I'm going to chuck a bit of that on because I like it. I like it a lot. So it's a pretty bright, so it's like that bright. If I just put some around here, just to give me a bit of, a bit of, it's a cool pink this one. So it will do in the shadow areas. Yeah, they they got kind of flattish heads. This is a this one's a good looking emu with a kind of even sort of distribution of fur. Some of them don't. Some of them have really high fur on the top of their heads. They can look quite strange. They can look quite ancient. Oh, that's a nice colour. I'll put some of these on too. Take that up here. So, make a pink emu. <laughs> I could make it pink. Make it completely pink. Yeah, 
get some light pink in there. Where the highlights go. Maybe I'll warm that one so it up a bit with the orange. There's a bit of sun hitting on this side. Whereas it's cooler that side I'll, I'll add some ochre in the other side. Look at my ochre. What did I do with my ochre? Christmas. My goodness me. Everything's happening around here. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's not a bad colour. I just mix that ochre with a bit of light blue. That kind of is quite nice. Right, um, um, okay, I'll put some, no, I'll keep going with the light stuff. I think I'm going to add some, yeah, blue into this side bit here. Actually, oh, that's back to the background colour. Might have to change the background colour. The question is, to what? What should I change it to? That's the question. While I'm thinking about that, I'll keep working on the beak. And then I've got my edges to consider. Edges to consider. Beautiful weather we're having at the moment. I should put in the nose holes. That's what I'll do. That'll help. That'll help anchor this beak into the where it's supposed to be. And okay, nose holes. I think I need to see the brush again. Nose holes here. Then they kind of look like sideways love hearts. That's interesting when you think about it. And sideways love hearts. Good, you know, it's good to kind of when I do these little recordings, I've got a recording of the thing I make, and then when I um, put it up for sale, I on the blue thumb, I include a video of it. So the per if anyone wants to buy it, they can watch it being painted. It's kind of it's kind of nice. I mean, certainly a contemporary sign of the times way of um, thinking about you know, art paintings. Some tone under these eyes here. Mm. 
Yeah. Very interesting. How you can just incorporate. Whoops, I just covered this with my smudge mark. So I'll um, put that back in. Yeah, like that. Still got to think of a colour of the background. Make these whole these um whoop, things a bit bigger. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoops. Yeah, so these are just little canvases. I'll show you the back. Oh, I'm here to see little canvases like that. You just hook them up and put them on the wall. So they're pretty cute little, pretty cute little things. Oh, where's that little brush? Cute little things. Now where's that? It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Just chuck a bit of. Um, I'm just gonna do this with lots of medium on there. See if I can get a. Um, just pop that in for now. Right now, what? Okay, I shall. Let me just work on, oh no, I've got to, I think I need to do, I think I need to do the background, don't I, or don't I? No, I'll keep going with it, I'll do a bit more on the body and then I'll think about the background. I'm just going to use some of this paint up for a minute. I'm going to cover myself with paint. Kick off my shoes. Uh... I'll wipe them off now. I want some dark under the neck there. We'll just um, get that shadow tone under here. <laughs> or before I consider what I'm going to do with that background. Put a bit of pink in there, I think. Okay. Mm. Oh, I know. I know, I've got this pretty nice colour here. I'm going to include some of that. Include some of this. Because that's it's going to add to the brightness and then I'll darken it with a bit of background for the other side which is in the shadow and under the eye here it's just really going to get some tone into there I think and some under the other side as well, but I can do just this colour. Maybe do some. Um. Oh, what about? Uh. <laughs> I 
Okay, the beak, we're just getting that stuck back into that beak. No, I'll use a different brush. I shall use a different brush. Do I have any notes or anything? What was I thinking about? Oh, keywords. Keywords is on my mind. So I think I, I might have spoken about this last time. Keywords. So when you upload a video on YouTube um, or any anywhere on social media, you you can use keywords for the search engine and that's and I, I don't think I will ever crack crack that myself. So I googled it, right? I've been I googled it um keywords and what they mean and um how to do them and then I tried to get onto this um, website that helps you with the keywords and I couldn't figure it out because I wanted I just wanted the free option so I could see if it's something I want or not it's going to be useful or not probably not and then then I get some emails sort of asking me if I, you know, want someone to sort out my website and you know, this and that. And I don't know how they knew that's what I was looking at, looking for, but they, or if it was just coincidence. A coincidence? <laughs> Probably a coincidence. Uh, but that's kind of happens like that, doesn't it? You um, you Google something or you search for something, and then suddenly, you know, um, it's everywhere on your, you know, coming up left, right, and centre on all the platforms you look at, and. Um, And somehow, so they figured out, or something figured out that that's what you're after. Well, it's all joint, it's all connected together. Obviously, these Googles and things. And unless it's, unless Siri, unless Siri's a traitor. I actually disabled Siri, so Siri, if you're not disabled, you're supposed to be disabled. Because I don't like, um, I don't really like communicating with the AI like that. You're a bit weird, Siri. And she never sort of gives gives you exactly what you want. Mm. Not really. Right. I got to do that background. Uh, I've got to do it before I continue because um. Uh, otherwise I'll just be fighting with my edges. What colour should I do it? Green. We got pink. We got yellow. What about a yellow? What about a disgusting yellow? <laughs> a yellow that I don't like. Uh, Cadmium yellow. 
I mean, camming it is all right. I don't mind camming it, but it's a bit bright though. I've got this Indian yellow, which I like, but it is transparent, so it's not going to cover that blue. I might try it anyway and see what happens if it does cover that blue. But it's not. It won't. Oh, it sort of does. No, I see it's a little bit too transparent. And then we'll get a lot of that blue coming through. It's a bit bright. I might try a cabin. See what this cabin does. Put it on the other side to just check the difference. Oh, it's just me or does anyone else use the top of their paint lids? The palette sometimes. <laughs> and you're running out of palettes. So it's actually it's not the cabin unless it's because I had some on my brush. But it's not that different. Where am I? So that one's going to come in a bit more now. I can just adjust. No. Uh, is that a bit bright? Chop the edge of that off. Let's take that off here. Um, In the hot, hot sun. The hot, 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 hot sun. Actually, I've got some other yellow here. And I might use up some of this because I don't want to waste it and it's only got a glad back on the top. I'll put a bit of that out there. I'll come back over the top with. Um, Very bright. Very, very bright. Let's just mix some of that together. I really like that. What about up in that other corner? Should I just use this one? This was a better. Well, we'll just put that up there as well. And then <laughs> right, that's a start now. While that's drying, I shall go just back into this face of it. Darling, or room down. Um. Okay, well, we'll just we'll just palette aside. I'll use that one. Put that palette aside. Use it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use that pink. So I'll use this pink first. Okay, so we just take that over here. Pop them on like that. Use up more of that pink there. Yeah, I'll mix 
mix it with my other pink and I'm going to put some I want this to be a pink here I want to stick with that idea Which means I need a dark colour for my, a darker pink for, oh, might as well do the pink neck as well. That's wet sort of weight. So what have I got that's a darkish pinky colour? Oh, I know. I have got magenta violet. I'll put you that out. And the right kind of blush. Some magenta violet. Okay. So with the dark kind of hairs up here. Mm. Oh, I'm going to wait till that yellow dries before I really go into back into that again. I have to be careful. Or lay it on so I don't work it up at all. And then, yes. Crazy looking in there. That's really wet, so I've got to wait for that to. Might have to go back into the um, the beak and the eyes, or around here. So that's that's kind of skin. So I've got to make a skin color, an emu skin color. Emus have dark skin. They've got a kind of bluish black, bluey blacky browny skin colour. It's, it's kind of yeah, interesting. So I'll get that sort of skinnish colour somehow. That's more beet colour really. Now that I've um, made the background yellow, you see I can use that colour that was in the background more in the beak and stuff. So that really helps there. I need something lighter. Top of the beak. Um, 
something a little lighter again in the beak. So we might get some clean um, Naples yellow and some what's this? Some of this pre-mixed skin tone I've got here. It's kind of a skin tone colour and I need some of that. I need some Australian blue gum. I've got some light violet there as well. And a bit of yellow ochre in there and some white. Okay, that should be able to lighten the beak up. Lighten that beak up. What is that one? Oh, antique white. Antique white is super opaque. So it's a pretty good colour. It's a warm white though, so it's not a cool white. It's not super warm. Oh, it's, no, it's pretty warm actually. So I quite like that colour. Okay. Antique white. Okay, that's going to add a kind of lightness into the beak I want, I think. Yeah. That will add. So it's a very gnarly looking beak. Yeah, that's this one. Some grey, grabbing some grey here, so I can mix that in. Uh, what black have I got there? I'll use that green black. And some of this white. Yeah, and more white. Yeah. I'll just check a bit of the opening one to it. Should give it a kind of that metally look. That's what I want. That's going to come around right there. much happening in this beak. Dark. I need more grey black. I need it out. Where is it? Better than carbon black. Green black does exactly what it says it throws green when you mix white with it. It's quite a lovely colour actually. Carbon black doesn't. Carbon black's oh, kind of throws, um, I suppose it throws blue more than anything. Um, but it makes a real like kind of standard grey colour. So actually, I might need some blue for in that beak. Use a bit of this ultramarine blue. If I mix a bit of ultramarine blue, that's a better colour. That gives me that kind of blue in this side of the beak. Go back into those nose holes and just define them again. It's a bit of a dance backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, you know, this kind of painting. 
I'm not all paintings like that. My, my style is a bit like that though. Just because I like to throw paint on and just see what happens and then I have to fix it. Fix everything up. Um, but it's, for me, it's kind of a quick way of working. So I can see results really quick and then I can decide what I like about it and what I don't. And I can change things. So I'm never sort of set with um, a outcome. All about the process, I think. Nice horns, make them look a little bit three dimensional. Mm. So, where's his? Okay, now I'm, I'm missing. I am missing. Uh, I think um, the the in between bit between the mouth, the top and the bottom beak, the line, that dark line, this dark line up here. So where is it? So here, Let's just put that in, and then it kind of disappears under. There's one here as well. Is that too high? No, I don't think it's too high. So then on the bottom side of that, there's, we need some brown. Some more brown. And like I, I'm putting out paint continuously. Like, and that's because um, acrylic paint dries really, really quick. So, um, you don't want to put out too much. It's a fairly warm day as well. So if I put out too much paint, it just dries. So I've really got to just put it out as I need it. Okay, so that's the bottom lip there. Goes in that way. Which means we need a bottom lip on the other side. But that's much lighter because it's in the sunshine. So I'm going to put... Mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And there yeah. in the top side. And then uh, I'm going to put some dark under there as well. Oh, that's better. Um, so what's going on under here? I need some light on that side. I think I'll go back into the pink now. Some pink, light pink. It comes right up. Yeah, and then some slightly darker pink. <laughs> I 
Oh dear, it's too funny. Now, where did that blue go? Right Here it is. So I'm going to use that from this shadow colour up here. Yeah, I've got some Hmm. Well, that's dry, which means, do I want to um, go over that yellow and clean it up or leave it kind of messy is the question. Um, much for muchness really. Hmm. Maybe I will actually, yes, yes, what I will do is I've got this Indian yellow that's transparent, so if I go over that, I should get a cleaner kind of effect in there with that yellow. A little bit on this side too. Might actually just drag that over there a bit. Just to blur some boundaries. the graduation of the Indian going up to that other yellow is the other question. So I might, while I'm here, I'll just take that cadmium and go in that bit. And maybe clean that mark up there. what happened with that. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I quite like that though, so I want to just, oh, do another one. All right, we're going to just be a little bit like that. It's going to dry so I'm going to go in and I'll just smooth that off. Probably not what I want. Uh, no, it's probably... I'll just go back over with it. No, I've got to wait till it dries, don't I? Alright, eyes. I think I'll go into the eyes for now while that's drying. Let that dry. So now what I want is I need something very, very light, very, very, so we've got this kind of under eye thing that happens here. Yeah, and it happens on the other side as well, which can be pink as well. I might warm it up a bit with a bit of yellow on this side. Do this one as well while I'm at it. Yeah. And um hmm. Um I'm gonna put some dark underneath. I'll 
I'll put some shadows around the eyes as well. While I'm here. Just, just establish this a little bit more. Give it a bit more def definition. And, oh, if I get a tiny, oh yeah, I'll use a really, really brush for this bit. Just because I want to, you know, just get, just, I might just, scratch. yeah, gives it a bit more definition there, and also I can do it. Um, yeah, that's all right. I just do I need to even up the pupils? Is the question as well? Stick with this little brush for a minute. Bring that one down a little bit. He's looking intense. Oh yeah. It's a little bit intense. A little bit of tension in that eye. Now I'll go to the other eye. And what goes on in here? So, so a little bit of the top of that pupil there. Let's round that off a bit nicely. And I'm going to have to add. Um, So a little bit of tone in the orange bit of the eye now. He is looking super intense. It's okay. So I don't want to use this little brush for that. So I need some kind of other brush. Something reasonably soft. Oh my gosh. Where did I put it? Oh, yeah, this one's good. Okay. Uh, a bit of a bit of tone in that eye. So I'm going to use this same yellow that I've got for the brightest part of the eye, and I'm going to tone it down a little bit with my magenta. Actually, I should put a little bit of brown in there as well. Let's see what this does. Just a little bit to keep it thin. Whoa. Oops. And a little bit of that very nice orangey colour. I'm going to touch a tiny bit of white in it this time. A little bit of white for the edge, but where's my medium? Thin it down. See what happens if I do... Hmm. Hmm. Looking a bit crooked there. Oh, I have to go back to that other colour I had. Well, I've got this on my brush. I'm just going to do this. Um, all right, I'll go back into that a little bit there. Back with my dark. 
hands a bit shaky. Oh, don't want to go. No, Shaky hand. Oh, we never get that right. It's just like a backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Because I keep stuffing my edge up. Oh, now I've made it too skinny. <laughs> oh no! Not the end of the world though. I just have to get some more black now. Where did I put that tiny, tiny brush there? Um, oh, here it is. No, it's not. No, I've lost it. Mm. Oh, there it is. Right. Going to round that off. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so a little bit of Right, now is that dry? Oh, it's tacky. It's tacky. I could put, I can put some hair back on there. I could, or I could just, I can just dot. I'll dot some of this. Bit of detail there, and a little, little eyelash there. This one can go into there. Okay, so now I'm going to just go down there with something. What color? This purple color. There's some pink in it. Let's just try it. So. I don't mind the um, kind of yellow going through there and the edges are interesting so yeah all right, I'm going to grab some of this I'm going to use this as my edge see if I can hmm Right, so I'm going to put some more salmon gum on my palette and some more of that other bright pink that I've been using, like magenta, and just do some more on the hair around and see, see if I should, what's the time? 2.51 I think I've been going for a okay. Does it say when I started? Nope No it doesn't Actually there's a thing I was wondering When I 
when I go live on this, um, and it goes to the YouTube as well, and it, and it says, um, is this a new event? And I don't know what to say. Because <laughs> um, when I sort of hit that it might be a new event, oh, I don't know what I did there. What is that? Um, it just goes back to what it was on before, so I don't think that's correct. Oh, I've got to fix that beak now. See a big mistake in my beak, which means that this bit here. Some big mistakes. And then that other front side there. Like that. So this goes. Hmm. Goes down a bit. So it goes down that way. Right, now I need some of that purple in here. Mm. <laughs> now you are looking like a character, Mr. Amy. Whoops, should have done that. Okay, so... Um, looks like he's engulfed in... Engulfed in the yellow. Dioxin purple and get more shadow in under those eyes of it. I can buy my dioxin purple. Mm. 
You good? And I'm done for the day to be honest. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That adds a little bit of definition. So go just darken that a bit. Is that dry? No, still tacky. Do I want purple up the top as well? Oh, it's dark. Or do I want to keep that kind of red? Um, and that makes a bit of red and brown in the red. Kind of white. Oh, what color is that? Needs a bit of light under, under it, I think. So we can go this, just more like a mouth. And I'll exaggerate that a bit. Can I make Maybe a little bit there. I feel like that one's higher than the other, but uh, it, it probably I might raise this one up actually, just because. Yeah, that would be better. Which means I can. Uh, fix it. So um yeah. some orange in it actually mix it with some orange Ooh, that's nice. so oh, yes super bright Be careful with that. Gosh.
use some, okay, a little bit more orange or a little bit more, and I'm going to stop. Because I really should stop. Let's, uh, I need some lights through there. What what should I do? Light purple, I think. Light purple. Let's see if I mix that. Okay, that's good. All right, we'll try this. We'll try this through the middle. Something darker, something darker this way comes. My gosh, I took a lot of shit on here. I really do, I, I can't help it though. I just talk crap. I'm aware of it. I feel like I just need to just brighten the eyes just a little bit more. And then I'm stopping. I'm going to stop and I'm actually going to go and um, pull up some aloe vera plants and replant them somewhere else. That's the plan for today. Okay, so a bit of that. And a tiny bit of orange. And a tiny bit of white. And white. Let's see if this works. And some medium. Just that yellow background again. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I mean, I love, I love, love, love this Indian yellow. I love it. It's still tacky, damn it. I kind of like that bit. Maybe it's just this bit. Clean that bit up. I want to clean that up so long. I kind of like it. Maybe just that bit. Um, 
I want to bring some of that Indian yellow at the top. I'm going to... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Out of Space Out Pace. <laughs> thank you very much. Just a bit of a crazy kind of thing. Pink and yellow, though, always works well together, so um, I don't think you can go wrong with pink and yellow. I'm just trying to decide what to do up the top because it's a bit messy. And I'm going to use... hard to open these paint cans. Oh yeah, thank you. It's very chaotic today. Um, actually, it's usually pretty chaotic. But it isn't, it's, yes, it's my sort of space, I suppose, where I can just, um, you know, muck around like I'm doing. That helps. There's stuff everywhere. Um, do I want to? I'm going to take that down a little bit there. So I've got this kind of. Just trying to sort that edge out a bit. Um, and just maybe don't want to. Kind of bring it, bring it here as well. Yeah, I reckon that helps. That helps. If I move it back a little bit, let's see that top. Oh no, I've got to bring it forwards. See that top edge. So I'm just trying to. Um, I can take the yellow back over it a bit as well. I probably will. Um, are you Australian? Oh yes, I am Australian and yes, I have seen an emu in real life. Um, <laughs> they're kind of terrifying. Um, yeah they're big some of them are you know sometimes they're friendly i've seen a lot of them in the wild as well like a lot of people in the country here kind of keep them like you know if they've got a big area they might sort of adopt one and keep it in a big sort of cage um and they're funny like they're always just they kind of come right out right out to you and sometimes they try to kind of peck you through the fence, but in the wild they can't keep to themselves and I've often seen them with their little babies following behind and they're big babies but um you know they they sort of just walk around cross the roads if you're driving you know like kangaroos do that as well um but they're definitely big and they look fierce and they run fast too they're very fast runners and yeah there's little tiny heads on a big body strange things they are but i wouldn't go up to one if i saw one in the wild i reckon um i reckon it's going i do i do Yeah, you don't get them around where I live though. Like you have to go more out into the country. Um, but we, we actually get a few koalas and kangaroos around here. Though, they, they kind of hang out more in suburbia, but 
or you know where houses are, but um, emus kind of are more out, out in the wild. Oh, same for the ostrich, yeah, because they're big too. They lay big eggs, don't they? They are big. I've seen some um, videos of ostriches. They're funny. And they're running around, sort of playing. Funny. If, yeah, some I've seen um, some videos of even emus playing and they run around and play if they're a bit tame. They're so funny. They like play with things. Like a dog plays with a ball or something, they'll, they'll do that. They're cute. Oh, you've never seen a kangaroo. Ah. Oh. Um, you're in the US, America, and uh, yeah, no, we got kangaroos everywhere, like, um, not literally in the city, but, um, like, I'm a bit out of the city towards the beach, and yeah, I've seen them, like, hopping around on the streets, even down here, and we're quite, we're quite built up here, so they, they come in, um, looking for food they um they eat grain and they're vegetarians kangaroos are um, when it's wheat season and there's wheat on the roads out in the out where they um farm it they, they eat off the side of the road and stuff i don't know if they well i suppose they do eat wheat but I, um, yeah. Miss Constant. Yeah. It's. Are you cold there now? Cause it's like um, winter, isn't it? Oh yeah. So you you'd be too cold for kangaroos, probably. There. Are you? Do you get, I suppose you get snow then, where I am we don't get snow, so today, well we're just heading into summer, and in our winter the coldest we get is um, probably the very very coldest in the middle of the night, it might be down to zero if we're lucky, but usually it's about, um, the very coldest would be like three or four degrees Celsius. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we we've actually got deer here as well out in the bush. They they're not natives, but they've been brought in. Um we got a lot of birds here. We get lots of birds. Do you get lots of birds? Birds. Um I like the birds. There's some crazy patterning on this beak. Yeah, it's a shame um, that the wildlife can't kind of live. You know, they, it's got to live among us. We've all got to live together, don't we? So. so it's nice when you... I like it with the birds, you know, because I feel like it's good to share the space with them. And we get a lot of um, reptiles here too, so we get some lizards. Oh yeah, we get pigeons. Actually, I've got pigeons living on the roof. You get snow on really bad. Up to 30 centimetres of snow. 30 centimetres, let me think. That's like... Hang on, I'll give you a look. Oh, that's like... That's not that deep. 30 centimetres. 
Yeah. So that's all over, I suppose. Like all over the place. Thirty centimeters. So I can't even imagine that. I I actually haven't. I've seen like snow in. We went to Europe. And um, I've seen snow that's been on the ground for a long time. So it, was, it wasn't very deep, but um, it was more like ice, really, I think. And that's all I've seen. And it was in, wasn't in winter either, so we went up to the mountains to have a look. Um, to your hips yeah that would be hard to walk through wouldn't it you couldn't drive through that could you drive if it's up to, if it's that deep up to, if it's snow up to your hips I don't think you'd be able to drive through it I couldn't imagine you could drive through it Right, now I just think I need to put a few, yeah, that's better, join that together. And I'm not sure what to do next. Um, I thought that's, that's a bit wrong there. That's a bit wrong. What is that? Um, not too much stress. Well, that's really weird. I like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, blocks in your back door. It would. We had, like, once we had, well, it, it, uh, we called it snow, but it was, um, I suppose it was hail and, um, there was little piles of ice everywhere and we built a little snowman about this big with it. We had that once. It was very, very cold. And um, yeah, there was this ice stuff everywhere. And we thought that was like snow, so we were pretty excited about that. And that's about, that's about it for, for snow for us. But in summer it gets ridiculously hot sometimes. We might get like a... 48 degree day um, well that's the very hottest but often it gets above 35 um, but, but that 48 is horrendous you can't even go outside that was last year we had that 48 degree day that's very rare though that's like the hottest possibly ever we've had I think but um it does get above 40 quite often mm, 40 is pretty hot 40 is horrible you can cook eggs in your letterbox hmm. oh you want to come to Australia yeah COVID sucks We've only just got COVID now where I am. I'm in Adelaide and um, so we haven't had COVID until um, two weeks ago. <laughs> so we, they'd shut the borders and so we were really good, no COVID. And then, um, and then they've just opened them all up now because we're apparently we're 95% of us are vaccinated or something like that. So. Um, so I thought they'll open it up and now they're telling us that everyone's got COVID and everyone's having to isolate and do all this stuff. And we're thinking, well, what did you expect? But anyway, yeah, COVID, COVID's a pain in the bum. Yeah. Oh, you got COVID. Oh, 
So, um, what was it like? Was it a, was it a, like a flu? I know you get a cough, don't you? Were you vaccinated when you got it? I, I actually, I don't know anyone here who's had COVID. Um. A dinosaur beak this big. Yes. We've all been vaccinated. Well, nearly all of us. So we I think the plan is that the vaccination is gonna stop us all getting sick. <laughs> but you know, we'll just wait and see. Um, whew. so, uh, this bit here, I think, needs a little bit of attention. I'm going to get that beak looking like it's got some dimension in it. Three to four, for about three to four days I had really bad body aches, very little sleep, night sweats, fatigue and a cough and it slowly got better and I was about to get vaccinated but that weekend I started showing oh, 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 and then you slowly got better so you, three to four days of really sick, yeah that's interesting, it was day like in a in a flu or a cold, day three is always usually the worst day, and so so three so yeah it's a pretty yucky sounds like a yucky thing three to four days of awful sickness. It's good you got better. I like that's good. Did did you take anything for it? Or two months to get vaccinated? Well, that's good. You're supposed to have a um, good immunity to it if you if you've had it anyway you'd, you'd think you would wouldn't you have a nice uh, build a strong immunity if you actually get the virus um lots of uh like painkillers day quill and night quill. yeah it's good you got over it though that's that's good to know that makes me feel good about that. Um, no one likes getting sick, eh? Such a pain. But I'll just round this off now. That bit there. Ah, oh, yeah, that's better. Okay. Hmm. Don't mind that. Just that one. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that one. Yeah. Make a few mistakes and then you just wipe it off. Oh, that's better. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Are you a painter by trade or by ho hobby? Well, actually, yes, it's my job. So I um, I paint. And I teach painting and I, I paint commissions as well and, you know, do paintings. So it keeps me busy and I just have different um, kind of things with painting that I do. So I paint in oils and acrylics. This is acrylics, um, but also painting oils and um, teaching both. Mm. 
Yeah. And mostly I paint portraits and animals. Animals and portraits. That's the kind of thing I do. And yeah, it's fun. But I don't really enjoy it. I, I, I teach in like a, it's a small art school that's local around here. So it's, um, well, it's got quite a few, it has lessons every day. I don't teach every day. I, I teach probably three or four times a week there. And, um, but it goes every day. And yeah, it's a private art school actually, privately owned art school. So it's, um. And we're we're pretty traditional, so we actually teach um, traditional art, like tra traditional methods of painting, um, oil painting, some of the ways the old masters use, and then also we teach contemporary stuff too, um, like after, as a once you've done the all the traditional learning, you can do some. We got have a general painting curriculum that covers um, all sorts of things from uh, from like impressionist stuff to still lives to just everything really drawing portraits yeah so it keeps me busy it's quite fun um, I learned to teach as an adult so I didn't. I didn't go to uni or anything like that. I, I actually got taught by a teacher at the school, and um, but I act. But when I was younger, I went to art school, so I learned how to paint, but not teach. And teaching's really different. You know? It's like it's um, quite a skill. I think it's fun. Like I enjoy it, but it was quite stressful learning how to teach too because um you know talking in front of a class and um all the eyes on you it makes you pretty nervous oh thank you thank you <laughs> yeah thanks no fun we have a lot of fun um yeah no, that's good yeah, we, we're a very busy school actually, it's um, full, so it's um, lots of people enjoying, enjoying it. Uh, there's a little bit more purple, I'll put a little bit more purple on this one, I reckon I'm, I'm done, yeah, pretty much. You get to this point of a painting and you kind of, you almost have to stop for you know, just a few, like an hour or something or two, just to go away from it and then you come back with with fresh eyes so you can see if you need to touch anything up or add anything. I just wonder if I should go darker on the top of the head. Oh, maybe I will. I think I will. Well, I'll just do a few back up here. See if that helps. Oh. That might have to go. It's pretty funny. Oh, you can't draw at all. <laughs> um. You can, you know, you can learn how to draw. Actually, a lot of the artists, really, you know, even quite um, famous artists, can't actually draw that well. But they've got there's some tricks you can learn, you know, to to make up for it. And um, but drawing is just a learning skill. You just you just learn by practice, and and actually. Um, if you can learn anything, you know, you can learn how to draw. So have a go. Try drawing something. Just try pulling, picking it apart, you know, and, um, yeah, stop adding. Yeah, there is. You, you do. You have to stop. you got to sort of 
figuring out when you, what to finish is one of the hardest things I reckon. You know, and a lot of artists um, struggle with that too, just when to stop. And um, I'll just, I might just take that in there a little bit. Give me the hairs on that one. Come down. Yeah, I reckon I will. I reckon I will stop. Oh, you know, and I could I'll just keep going and going and going. Just put this little bit here. This one bit here. A bit more highlight there. And just a little bit here. So adds a bit more to it. Acrylic paint dries darker than, um, you know, it dries darker so you come back to it and you, you need to tweak a fair bit because it has dried darker. It's just one of the, probably the bummer things about acrylic paint, but apart from that it's pretty good stuff. Alright. Oh, thank you. I oh, you'd hang this in your house. That's very nice of you to say so. Now that is, that is an honour. Thank you. Yeah, so I'll show you. It's, it's just a little thing, this one. I have painted ones like this quite big, so it's just a little canvas. Um, but yeah, these kind of paintings do well, small or big. Actually, I've got this other one here too. I'll show you. I'll just zoom out. Zoom here. This is another one I'm working on, which is a bit different. Again, this one's on the board. That's a little bit different than the canvas. So these are, I call these little products. So I just, um, you know, little little things to you do. What's the blue at the top's purpose? Um, ah, uh, well, I don't know. I sort of, because it's blue under, I did a blue underpainting. So I just, I was just kind of did it like that. I might change it and move the yellow back up the top. I don't know. Um, you know, I could, I could even just bring it up in one spot. Not sure. There's a few little things. I'll think about that. Think about that. You know, I'm, now I'm thinking. See, that's a problem every time you, you want to, you kind of think of something you want to touch it up. I just find like that. <laughs> yeah. Don't know, you know. It's one of those things you just, you just think about and maybe and it makes it kind of unique or not some things don't work some things do I might even put a little bit of that yellow down there <laughs> yeah don't know. but yeah is this a commission no so this one I do a lot of commissions but this this was just a fun bit which I did for this Twitch because um, I it was kind of nice and fun to do and I quite I'll probably put it on I've got a blue thumb account and a, this blue thumb account is um where an artist where all artists put their work and sell it online so I'm making little products for this blue thumb it's only a new thing I'm doing to see how it goes um, and um, so I'll might put it on there not sure uh yeah but um yeah just you know trying different things really um i like doing t little paintings because they're quick like i did that um on for this so it took about an hour and a bit i think um and then you get a result straight away <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. Yeah, but that's all good. Yeah, thank you. I uh, I only just put that page on actually, but um, 
because I'd always, yeah, it's, it's just good to have it so you can just hand them over and show people and, and then they decide what they want or not. And people commission their pets. Hi, Michael, how are you? Be watching the YouTubes, ah, oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm just having a chat to Outer Space, uh, Outer Space Outer Place in the US. I'll, I'll say something in in the YouTube. I've just finished now. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go and cook some dinner. Cook some din dins. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, I am. Our, oh, our packer. All right, thank you. I actually need my glasses on, so you're out of space, our packer. Ah, yeah, good. I'm actually a bit, I'm a bit dyslexic, I shouldn't say that, but I should wear my glasses. Thank you. No, you have a good day too, and lovely having a chat. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, you too. Nice day. It's going to be good weather for Christmas by the look, so that's all good. And, um, yeah, well, um, I'll, I'll get back to this on another day.